If this is your first time to the channel, consider subscribing, press the bell icon and never miss an update. So guys, uh, desperate times call for desperate measures. Uh, so the camera is not yet fixed. So I'm shooting on my phone today. Um, usually the challenge is while I'm shooting a video, either I get a call or I get some messages from somebody. So that gets uh, interrupted. So the plan now on this bike is to um, assemble the, um, you know, uh, bike fully and then give everything for plating later on because the challenge is uh, right now due to Onam the plating shop will have a lot of work and if we disman if we you know send it for plating right now we might not get it on time um, another point is uh, we can actually uh, install the CDA which is on the way which has reached Trivandrum and uh, tomorrow we can do the install and start the bike if everything is fixed so what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to install the silencers uh, and also you know install any these footrest and also that it becomes barely rideable uh, and then once we get everything uh, plated then we will do a final installation so onam is on monday after the onam i will go and give the things for plating so that is the plan so i'll put you guys on a tripod and then we will start the work
that is required for this bike to start has been fixed um, except for the uh, ignition system because ignition system has to come tomorrow i'll put the tank once i put those uh, ignition coils somewhere over there so that is the plan the kicker is also installed uh, and it is moving fine uh, i have not installed the silencer cores yet um, so that is something that we need to install maybe i'll do that tomorrow uh, another thing while i was fixing this bike i noticed if you guys look these silencers look very different from those silencers in the placement department uh, so i was wondering why is that like that because um, this is not the first time i'm assembling this bike so what i noticed is see um, if you look at this clamp this clamp is supposed to come behind uh, this foot peg area okay it is supposed to come like this um but in this bike it is actually in the front so somebody correct me if i'm wrong i think the placement should be like this um uh, if the placement is like that the problem is you cannot have this kicker and this kicker will go and hit the silencer if you see it has happened in the past over here and in this bike my friend has put a rx135 kicker because the rd350 kicker will hit so let me know in the comments if i have fixed it correctly because this is how i did it in the past as well um and it was running fine um i never had an issue with this hitting anything you know and the ground clearance was not an issue everything was sitting perfect so i am little confused another mishap that has happened is like always this is nostalgia okay i have misplaced the woodruff key so uh, what happened is when i took apart this bike i kept everything properly and i installed my woodruff key into that bike but uh, when i looked for the woodruff key from that bike i could not find it um, it was stuck on the magnet itself so that i don't lose it but looks like always it is missing so last time we actually had to run around a lot and get that and finally we got it so so the pulsar classic woodruff key is a perfect fit on that so i'll have to see if i can get that um other than that what i'm going to do is once um the bike starts and you know starts running i'll remove couple of stuff and give it for plating like these two silencers have to go for plating uh, we bought new shocks so we don't have to worry about that front mudguard has to go for plating the seat ring has to go for plating i was thinking of getting the tail piece also plated but i bought stainless steel tail piece so i don't have to worry about that uh, another thing we were planning to plate was the front rim so if you notice um, this rim is pretty wide okay this rim is the rear rim that comes in a hero honda cbz uh, cbz classic model so what i am planning to do is i am actually planning to put uh, the unicorn rear rim in the front so it would be that wide as you can see in that rd uh, the width will reduce um, plus this uh, doesn't handle that great it is not as nimble as that bike so you know some extent of that is due to the wide front rims so i'm going to um, get those changed but in future my plan is to replace every damn thing that is going to rust on this bike uh, with stainless steel items like what i'm going to do next is uh, you know next upgrade is going to be the rear and front mudguard i'm going to get stainless steel stuff there and then uh, you know probably will get the crash guard also um, so that is a plan we don't know how it's going to work i'm actually pretty excited about the cda because um, this is a digital version um, of the allied cda and it has something called b 
L R U B. It is booster. Okay, I don't remember. So basically, what it does is uh, it is uh, battery less ultra booster. I think so. It basically replaces the battery. So I want to see uh, how that is going to work if that is going to power every electricals of the bike properly. So that is uh, something that we need to look forward to. Uh, about the silencer placement, do let me know. Uh, there are a couple of things that still looks little tired. Like you know, if you look at the heads, I should have probably painted it. Um, I realized it little late. I could have painted it along with the um, you know engine covers. So probably um, later on I can do that. Uh, so yeah, that's about it about today's video. So tomorrow hopefully uh, if the postman comes home, we'll get the CDI kit and then we'll try to install it. But that Woodruff key is going to be a problem. Uh, and also I have lost the, uh, there is a ball that comes in the, clutch mechanism so that is also missing so i have to look for that as well so once um, those things are there then probably this bike should start running um, another thing which is planned is to reduce the height of the front end it's actually sitting too tall so um, what i'm planning to do is i'm planning to cut this uh, give it to a lathe and you know cut this probably and then you know re-thread it the spring wheel also We'll try to get something better than the Pulsar 220 spring, probably something progressive. Um, so probably I'm thinking almost this height um, right now is actually a little uh, higher than this, almost one and a half inch more. So that will also, um, you know, we'll reduce it to an extent that this bike actually sits like that because it is very nimble. I enjoy the riding position of this bike in fact i was thinking that probably i'll look for um the rd front end and probably you know get the stay welded to that so yeah if that goes then you know that would mean that we'll have to change the t-stem and upper t because that is going to be a problem because we have actually reboard it to a higher size probably we can put a sleeve but that would be a very janky fit so we cannot do that so yeah that's today's video we'll meet tomorrow then bye bye